the B58 is a 3 litre single turbo straight 6 from BMW. Now the engine had a lot to live up to. The N54, which was BMW's twin turbo straight 6, is a legend in the tuning world, but it still had its problems. The engine wasn't the most reliable thing on the planet. Then BMW made the N55. It was less tunable, but they focused more on reliability. Now, the B58 is their newest straight 6. Or at least sort of, like the new M3 has got a newer straight 6 power plant, but I mean in, except for the M cars, this is the newest straight 6 turbo car and like a non-M BMW. But the point is, they don't have any excuses. They know how to build a reliable, strong straight 6 power plant. So did they? Well, let's talk stock motor specs first. The B58 produces 330 horsepower and 500 Nm of torque. Not bad in its stock form. Now, how is this power made? Well, this 3 litre has one twin screw turbo, which force feeds the engine with all the oxygen it needs. Now, remember when I talked about the N54, and I said it was so loved in the tuning community? Well, the reason people loved the engine so much is because it was crazy strong, with people making 800 horsepower on a stock engine. And I think the world record is over a thousand horsepower on a stock internal motor. How? Well, the N54 has a forged crank and rods, and really strong cast pistons. So here is the good news, the B58 is much of the same story. It also has a forged crank and connecting rods. Now the N54 block is made out of iron which is really strong but heavy. So BMW made a compromise. The B58 has a weaker aluminium block in order to save weight but they made it a closed deck aluminium block in order to keep it as strong as possible. Now that we know all the technical crap, let's get into how you will change your B58 powered car from a fast car to a tire hungry road monster. Ok, so let's start with the easy and cheap mods, full bolt-ons, which is good for around 500 horsepower to the crank. Now all these mods are reasonably priced and easy to fit to your car, so for your average person this is the perfect setup. So the first mod is really easy, it will make your car sound a lot better and it can increase the power by around 10 horsepower. A performance air filter not much more to it, easy, quick and it sounds awesome. Now the next mods I would do together, so get yourself a catalyst downpipe and then tune the car same time. If you get the downpipes and you don't tune it with the new downpipes you will have errors and crap and you don't want this, this is just not fun. Anyways, with a good tune and downpipes you can raise the horsepower by a good 100 horsepower with just these two mods. Not bad for the money if you ask me. Now for me personally, when you do the downpipes and the tune, I would do the exhaust too, but I love loud cars. So this is preference, if you don't want your car to be too loud, then just don't do that. Yeah, easy peasy. On to the next mod, an upgraded heat exchanger. So the B58 uses a air to water intercooler system, which means an upgraded one is difficult to find and quite expensive. But there are a few options available. Burger Motorsport sells one for $480. This is a necessary upgrade, you need to keep the charged air nice and cold. I'm not going to go into depth, but the colder your air is, the more dense it is, and the more oxygen particles enter your combustion chamber, which means more power. But there is another option, if you don't want to do upgrade the intercooler, you can do meth. Meth injection, also referred to as water meth injections, spray a mixture of water and methanol into the intake, just prior to it entering the combustion chamber. This spray reduces the air temperature and also boosts the octane of the gas entering the combustion chamber. Now the only crappy thing is with meth you have to top it up. So depending on where you live it might be a bit of a hassle to make sure that the bottle is full all the time because if it's empty it's not going to do anything. But with all the mods I previously mentioned you should be making around 450 ish horsepower to the wheels which is already plenty but I know some of you guys want more. Now in order to make more power than 500 wheel horsepower on the B58 you're going to have to upgrade the fueling setup and get a bigger Terpski. So let's talk about what systems is available and what power you can expect with each. Now I'm going to break it up in three, uh, a build for 550 to 600 horsepower, a 650 to 700 horsepower build and then a like crazy balls to the wall 8-900 horsepower monster thing. Okay, so let's start with you guys that are looking to put down around 550 horsepower to the wheels. A great option for you guys would be a Vargas GC turbo upgrade for the B58. They go for around $1,600. Now with this setup, you will need an upgraded high pressure fuel pump, downpipe, intake and a charge pipe. And on pump fuel, she would make 
just over 500 horsepower, but on ethanol or with meth, that number will be knocking on the door of 600 wheel horsepower. And another great thing with using the Vargas setup is that the turbo spools almost like a stock turbo car. So you won't have tons of lag, you'll make good power and it won't lag, so it's a total win-win. Okay, now let's raise our ceiling to 700 horsepower. So if you want your car to make around 700 horsepower, you will need to make sure you do all the supporting mods as well. Now, the mods that are recommended for making this kind of power includes full bolt-ons, so meth, upgraded intercooler, downpipes, intakes, all that crap. Then, you must also upgrade your axles because the stock ones won't hold this kind of power. Then you should also look into upgrading the tires, getting a nice pair of semi-slicks or something that's more grippy to put this power down because she will get loose on you if you aren't careful. And then lastly, you'll need to run port injection. The stock injectors will struggle to supply enough fuel. Okay, and now for the fun part, the turbo. For this specific horsepower target, I would say go for the pure 800 turbo. They will set you back around $2,500, and for that, you will have a turbo that can flow enough air to produce 700 horsepower, if you can supply the engine with enough fuel. So it's not necessarily going to make 700 if you put it up with these mods. You're still going to have to run race gas and have strong enough injectors and port injection and everything to make sure the engine is getting enough fuel into the chambers. And now for the big boys. Over 800 horsepower. Firstly, the stock motor won't work when you are running these kinds of numbers. You are going to send a piston to the moon. So, building the motor is completely necessary. And on top of all the mods I mentioned previously, you're going to need a massive set of balls. Because these things are dangerously fast. Now, let's say you do have enough money lying around to do all of these things. Get all the supporting mods, build the motor, get the turbo kit that's not going to be cheap, everything. This is the turbo setup I would recommend. P.S. If you do have enough money to do this, send me a few dollars. Make a charitable donation to your boy, Chrissy Chris. Anyways, onto the turbo. Big Boost sells the Stage 4 turbo kit. Now this kit includes a 65mm turbo and they have actually got some B58 cars over 900 wheel horsepower with this kit. So it does make some serious power. Um, it is, like, like I said, built motors, not stock motors, but it's still really impressive. So that's been the video, build guide on the B58. Let me know if you've got one, where you want to get your power. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. And yeah, go through my channel, I've got many more videos just like this one. I'll check you guys in the next one.